guys welcome back to the channel this is pink lady gamer and today we're going to play a childhood game of mine called um putt putt travels through time i know it's a like a kitty game but um but i remember playing it as a child it taught me some stuff and it was really really fun me and my brothers loved the game and it's um yeah it's a really a nostalgia thing so um you might be seeing me playing some of these. I mean, there's two Pacific games that I've actually found. I was surprised I found. And it's all and these both games I'm gonna play is gonna be on Steam. So I mean, so if you guys want to look it up, it's there. But it's a really good child childhood game. I don't see too many people playing it, but we'll see and how it goes and see if I can remember everything. But um so yeah, let's get started guys. Oh my god, nostalgia. Nostalgia, guys. Oh my god, I remember this. Driving the sun down a lot. Aww. And it's back in 1997, guys. That's a little <laughs> Pet, pet, pet. Oh, look at pet. I promised Mr. Firebird to come over this morning so I could show him my history report. Gotta get that history report. My calculator and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. Yes, we're ready for school, guys. We're ready for school. Oh, the dog's like, no. Give to Ken Quip. What about what's going on with you? Oh, now I'm in the camp. And you can never look. Here's my coin. I better not leave home yes, without. You it. better not. We always need that five cents. You need the five cents. So, and I always love this because you get to see there's your dashboard down here, and then your speedometer, and then there's the radio. And I love the horn. If you watch it when you click on it, it makes faces. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that was like the most fun thing to do was play with the horn. And we're doing good on gas. He is good on gas, guys. We need that type of a car. So, let's go, guys. Come on, Pep. Let's go see Mr. Firebird. Yes, let's go see Mr. Firebird. Oh, I wish that actually happened in real life. Honking the couch moves. When you honk at them nowadays, they just kind of stand there and look at you like you're just dumb. Some days. Let's keep going, guys. Here we are, Pep. It's Mr. Firebird's well, workshop. I don't remember what that says. Something happened there, but it's now Firebird's lab. I don't know who that was. Let's go find our friend, yes, Mr. Let's go Firebird. Find our friend. Hey, Mr. Firebird. Hi, Mr. Firebird. Welcome, Butt Butt. I was just putting the finishing touches on my time portal. Wow. A time portal. A real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere. Nowhere at all. I don't <laughs> think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's that is neat. Kind of neat. As a matter Especially of fact, I was just about to fire it up that's for the neat. very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great. And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. He's so excited about school. We all need to be excited for school. I need school. To an extent, anyways. Don't miss the homework. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, what was I thinking? I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. Well... We can't use the dog. That would be wrong. But we do have a coin. There we go. We'll give it to Mr. Firebird. Here's the coin, Mr. Firebird. See, you never home home with five cents. Ah, this is not a mere really? coin, Putt Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. Who wants to have their own key to great knowledge, guys? The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. 
into the past, the future. I think it's all we can go to is the past and the future. Alright, guys, let's go. I'm glad you yeah. can fit in there. You be careful, Putt Putt, and good luck! Thank you! Thank you very much. Wow! So we... It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality! Yeah, it's like a science fiction, These reality. must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go well, first. We got the dinosaur age, it looks like. We have the castle medieval time. We got the western. And we got the future. And I don't remember what these guys do, but I think I remember they do a song and it takes it takes forever. But if you guys ever get the game, you guys can decide what you want to do. But I'm not going to play the little guys down there. But let's go to the dinosaur, guys. I didn't remember if I actually, if there was like, if you had to go a certain way. Whoa! This must be the age of the dinosaurs! Yes, guys, we're going to some dinosaurs! Yes! Alright, let's go. Unless. Oh, so we might. I think I remember this right, correctly, guys. I remember going to. You might have to go to different places at different times to get to certain things so you can get. You get what I'm getting at. The to two different things, I think. I don't know if I need that or not. Wowie, zowie! It's a real live Brachiosaurus. Hi. Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt Putt, and I've come from the future, Miss Brachiosaurus. Sure Sorry, you guys, have, you honey. Phone have it's... a nice time while you're here in the past. Thanks. Hey. So... I never realized dinosaurs could be so big. I'll bet you eat a lot. A lot isn't the oh, word I think for I have it. To go back tons, and tons the, the and tons of and leafy green her. plants. A big Please girl like me could never eat too many greens. Oh, <laughs> too many greens. You guys eat each greens. Like a brachiosaurus, you kids out there. I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. Okay. I think that's what I needed to do, and then I go back and ask her, hey, can you please move your tail for me? Hi, Miss Brachiosaurus. Hello, Putt-Putt. What can I do for you? I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. Strange. That strange something happens to be my tail, putt putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Miss Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. Stuff will probably happen. I'd really appreciate it. Lesson learned there. I don't remember if I need this one. I'm gonna. Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle. Whoa, it's a big one. Oh, good, one. guys. Look, we got, we got rocks. All right. Thanks a lot, Ms. B. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mrs. B. Nice catching up with you. Now I'm off to explore the age of the, the dinosaurs. Or this is actually a different designer shape, I think. Whoa! Look! It's the first one, guys! This is your first car. For all you children out there, this is the first car. The wheel. And now what we have today came from this little guy right here. Alright, let's go. How? Hello! Whoa. I'm Putt Putt. Do you need some help? Yes! But first, you gotta tell me what in the heck is a Putt Putt? I never <laughs> laid eyes on anything like, quite like you before. A I'm a car, and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa! Imagine that! I'm way of glad to meet you. Say, Putt, how'd you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rock? 
Then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. <laughs> Full speed ahead! You need to go 35 miles an hour oh. that, guys. Ah, I that. That was fantastic! Stupendous! Hut, you cars from the future sure know how to fix your basic bridge. I didn't know if they changed bridge. or if that's just hey. one, but I think they changed uh -oh. every time you Big went. time problem alert! Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Don't worry, I'm sure I can find one somewhere. Great! Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic pentagon. pentagon. Guys, I'll your keep shape. an eye out for a rock in pentagon. the shape of a pentagon, then you can cross your bridge. I think I know one. You have to go all the way back here. But the bomb traveling. It's a rock in the shape of a pentagon. Good, you take out the second one. Okay, you did it on your own automatically. Now we go back. I like how he turns so easily. Will, guess what? I found a rock, and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge. Well, what do you know? <laughs> I like the little boy animation over there with the little pterodactyl. Excellent! Fantastic! Thanks a gazillion putt! Well, I'm homeward bound! Come visit any old time you like! <laughs> um, I think there's something over here that I need. Oh, who's here? I forgot who's here. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, I can't quite reach. Look at that. It's an apotosaurus. Oh, so an itchy like and a horribly <laughs> miserable apotosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt Putt, and maybe I can help you. Yeah. What a positively inspired idea. You, you could just so roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, Putt Putt. I'm Aww. tough. I can take it. Just oh, scratch that spot, oh, I please. That one spot somewhere in your body that you cannot reach, and it just it's just like nothing. Ooh, I feel for him. All right, let's go and itch itch. Ooh, now go a bit to the left. Left. Yes. Yes. Now go down, just a bit. Okay, down. Oh, yes. Go a little to the left. Okay. Ah, where is it go? Oh. Now go down, just a bit. <laughs> okay, we're going down. Oh. Ooh, now go a bit to the left. Dang, how far are we going over to the left, dude? Oh, yes. Yes! Aww. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's so much better. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Oh, I feel so better now. Wish we all had that help us at some point. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be That's my guest. Hey! I don't think I would want that. Well, I think that what's going on over here. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I don't know what these guys have nothing have anything to do with anything. I gotta. All right, let's go talk to Wheel. I just couldn't remember what was going on. Guys. Hello, Pot. Hello to you too, Will. Yes. What's going on? So, Pot, what's a car from the future like you doing in a past right. like this? I'm looking for some things I lost. 
my history report, my lunchbox, my calculator, and my dog, Pep. You've lost me too, but I haven't the faintest idea what yeah. those things are. History report? Oh, skip it. Where are my manners? Can I interest you in some fabulous, delicious, nutritious, primordial soup? Made it myself. What's this? What's this? Sure, that primordial. would be great. Oh. Compliments of the house. Mmm, primordial soup tastes terrific. Thanks, uh, Will. Ah, oh, don't mention it. More primordial soup? Yes, oh. please. It tastes great. Oh, can you talk to him? Or something happens. I don't remember what happens. Mmm, mmm, right. good. There's something over here. Okay, I gotta move him at some point. Because he's under my history report. Okay, he's under my history report that's down there. What's up here? What do we have to do up here? Oh. Well, let's go talk to the bird. See what we have to do with the bird. Hi, Mr. Bird. Wanna play Follow the Volcano? Sure, let's play Follow the Volcano. Here you go, see if you can match this one. Blue. Now see if you can match that. Okay. Okay. Ready, set, all right, now it's your turn to fire up those volcanoes. Alright, go for it! Blue, red, green. Start singing for no reason. Good going, you get the picture. If you're ready to say right. bye bye, pretty much click that's what that is. It's a mini game. So Alright, well, figured out what that was all about. Okay, there's something over here that I have to get. T-Rex! Ow! Oh, hell. It's a vicious, strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't! I'm Pet Pet. Is... I never hurt anyone, honest. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. scary cat T-Rex if they actually were scared like that. Say, you want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Sure, that sounds like fun. Okay. Oh, my God. So, uh, which one's first? Let's move that Let's one. Let's move that one. <laughs> Okay. Move that one over. Let's move that one. I think I kind of get this idea of this picture. <laughs> Let's move that one. We gotta make this picture, guys. Dinosaur. <laughs> There. And I'm thinking this one needs to go over there. Let's move that one. <laughs> that's part of the tail, of course. But. <sighs> and then that one just needs to move. Okay. And we got it. Let's guys. move that one. Don't go poke me on it. <laughs> Move over one more. There we go. <sighs> All right, we did it. Yes. Okay. That's all we do. That's all we do. 
So, uh, which one's spice? Uh, you probably wouldn't expect a big guy like me to act like such a baby. Okay, so... A very big baby. How big are you, anyway? Last time I measured, uh, 18 feet tall and okay, 14,000 so pounds. Well My mom says I'm almost full grown. Oh. Okay. I sure had fun playing with those rocks. Thanks, T-Rex. Okay, so that wasn't really much of anything. I'll talk to you a little bit. Basic look to your pot. Thanks, Will. Oh, I can't get the bullion? You cars from the future have some basic appetites. Okay, I didn't really want to drink it again. Ah, that's great. Hard to imagine, but I think you're basically the first car from the future I've had the pleasure of meeting. And you're definitely the first prehistoric wheel I've ever met. Okay, I think I have to go somewhere else now. So let's go to the next thing. I thought maybe there might be something I could get, but obviously I think I have to go to somewhere else to get what I need. So let's get to the next... Well, let's go to the next world. So yeah, I think I was correct. At first I didn't know for sure if I was correct, but yeah, we might have to go to different worlds to get certain things to go to the back to the other world to get what we need. So, now well, let's go to Medieval. I must be in the Medieval Times. Uh -oh. oh my goodness! Excuse me, do you need some help? My, you are certainly the fancy carriage. I'm not a carriage exactly. I'm a car from the future. My name's Putt-Putt. I'm very happy to meet you, Putt-Putt. I'm Princess Chassie, and this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We're charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump. My wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, okay. Princess Chassie, here's the plan. Okay, we figured it out. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. It I would be that. my pleasure. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious sakes. Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps we'll see you later, Putt-Putt. Bye. Peace out. Peace out. All right, let's go to the castle, guys. Who wants to go to the castle? I do, because I want to be a princess. Or if you want to be a prince or a king, queen. Oh. God. Okay, so I know I know where I need to go now. I gotta go get the oil for that. And I know where to get the oil. That's from the western area. Yeah, it's gonna get a little confusing, guys. I don't remember, but I remember that one for some reason. I don't know how I remember that one from ages ago, but I do remember that one. So... We're gonna go to the world at once, guys. So I think I do remember that's where that's. Wowie, zowie! It's the. I think isn't there something in here? Oh, can I get the rope? A rope. This might come yeah, in handy. Yeah, the rope. Mm -hmm. Sorry, getting something we might need. <laughs> Howdy do, little buddy. You new in town? I'm Putt Putt. I'm visiting from Car Town, far in the future. Well, dang a ding dong. Dang -a -dang -dong. That is something, ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde. Hey, Virgil Clyde. What's howdy, howdy? Nice to meet you. We're talking to animals too. Uh, let's go to the general store. Is there anything? I don't think so. I don't think none of my stuff's here. I don't think I can get anything unless I get a chewy 
wagon thing, that's five cents, but I'm gonna go to the train station because I think I have to go in here. It's an oil can! Yes. That's what we need to go get to take to the medieval times to get the gate open at least. It's a rope! That's the water oh, tower! Hey, hey, Sunny! You didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior I'm conductor. Pique your interest, son. Uh, pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up. Why, I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. All right. A little on the wheels would do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. But you can call me What's up? Toby. Howdy, Toby. What's up? Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. Thousands You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. Put my name's Putt Putt. Well, Putt Putt, my partner, so, so far you've made too, a mighty fine so junior conductor. Here's your pay one round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that old can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that nog into work and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up? I'll yes, bet I can do that. Up some water. Yes. Toby, I found a rope. You found the rope. And I think it's it just the thing to do the just trick. Left the area. I <laughs> thought you'd be the kind of cow poke who'd be handy with a rope trick. <laughs> Now I'm officially in business to thanks to, to you, Mr. Right Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll so give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Let's go. You ever take a train ride before, Putt Putt? No, but I bet it would be a blast. Get technical there. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take you? Um, desert. Hot and dry. It's the desert. Pep's here. Yeah, Pep's here. Would you look at that? It Follow the, the puppy dogs. Come on, we get Pep, right? Good gosh. As a kid, this probably was all confusing. If no one actually paid attention. Wowie zowie! A uh, real mountain lion! I think I followed the wrong one, guys. Hold on. I thought his, that was his paw prints, but obviously it wasn't. Let me go back to the beginning here, guys. We're going back to the beginning. Try to figure this out. Okay. I think... Maybe these? Oh, wait. Maybe he's not in the desert. Oh, he is in the desert, but he's not here. This is just other animals, I think. Hold on, guys. I think there's something else here. All right, let's go back to Toby. I don't know if he's in the desert. Let's go to Hubcap Hill. Hubcap Hill, here we come. It's my calculator. Hey, little guy, could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine. Okay, no, that's no, 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 no. The history reports <gasps> in the dinosaur age. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do I do this? Ugh! 
Oh, no! That trunk is locked up tight. So I have to get a key somewhere from somebody. Alright. Ugh! My calculator's locked up in there. I've got to find something I can use to unlock that yeah, trunk. Okay. Let's go check this out, guys. Let's go in. All aboard for the old rock mine. Let's see. Um. Oh, that's just a showing somebody. Ooh. All right, nothing's here. Um, I know there's somebody to talk to at the Gold River. So Gold let's go River, talk to the here we River. come. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello. Well, howdy, oh, young man. Okay. And don't uh, mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for Ooh, gold. No. Wow. There's really gold in that river? Yep. Uh, what, what's that to say? You want to know if I'm so cold I shiver? <laughs> nah, not me. <laughs> I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I nope. said. Well, looky here. Dang, blam it. It's just a bunch of old rusty oh, keys. Yes. Excuse me, do you mind if I take these? Ah, Sonny, you can take them, shake them, or bake them for all I care. They're just a bunch of good for nothing keys, is all. You never know, they might be good for something. You never know, they might be good for something. That's the truth. All right. Now I think we can go back to there and unlock the get our calculator. All aboard oh, for Hubcap Hill. Now. Tire Flats' very like own ghost new. town. Everything switched somewhere now. That's what I was getting at. Okay. Which key should I use? That one? This key doesn't fit. Maybe I should try a different key. So it's just a that trunk is locked up tight. But I might have something that will help. So just a regular key? Which oh. key should I Don't use? Don't my guys. Oh, that was so dumb of me. Hmm. I didn't pay attention to what that was. It worked! Well, get your calculator then. You finally got your calculator! Excellent! I've got my calculator back! Now all I have to do is get Pep, my lunchbox, and my That's history probably the reason report. Why so I Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. I don't need anything. And it's Tire Flat Station, gateway to the Old West. Hmm. Well, I got the one thing from the West, but I don't think I need anything else here. I'll check General Store just one more time. There you go. If that don't beat all. Okay, I don't think there's not much else I can do here. Well. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go to the next area. I don't. Um, I know I can go here. But I know my history reports in the Dinosaur Age, but I have to find something good for that. I don't know where I find it. I think it's here, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on it. I'm still learning myself. Okay. Here. Wow, this is some castle! Yes, it is! Only the reins have rusted the gates Aww. shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. I think I have something that will work. This should help open that yes. rusted gate.
than one thank yous, Putt-Putt. Now we won't be late for story time. <gasps> story time. I want to go story time. Sorry, I had to take a drink, guys. All right. I don't know what I have to do now. Marilyn, do you have anything I need to do? Don't know. That doesn't look right. Um... It's, oh, is Pep here? I think Pep's here. Hey. Hi, Woodward. Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt-Putt. You're in for a regular treat, because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith awesome. in the world. And that's the that's truth. That's the truth. He is a nice blacksmith. Ah, you have the lunchbox. Ah, I know where hmm. to get your stuff. You have, I have to go to the future to get him some food. Okay, so Pep's not here. Still work. Okay, so the lunchbox here. History reports in there. Well, guys, we're gonna go see the future. This might be a one video game because I can't save. These games never saved. I don't think it never did. It doesn't show anything I can save, so. And I don't think I can ever come back because otherwise I think it restarts the story. So we're gonna play this through one video. Just let it Whoa! This must be the future! Yeah, we're not I right wonder now. what year it is! Here goes! Yeah, we don't want to go the other direction we're going back to the thing. Hmm. Hmm. What's here? I'm wondering if Pep's here. Pep's probably up in the game area. Coolness. Welcome to the Petorama, the make-it-yourself pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed and then pressing the food button. Thank you, How and have a pleasant nice. day. This looks like fun! It does look like it's fun. No, we're not doing the cat. Yes, we're going to do you. I don't know why would they have a dragon. Weird. In the future, they still believe in dragons. So much fun, guys. Some buttons. Your food will be ready momentarily. Great! Got that one taken care of. I think Pep is up here in the game area. I think that's where we get Pep. Yep, I was right. Wow! This fun zone looks okay. great! This one, guys, you have to play with the different buttons, so... Where am I going? So I have to remember which one it is. Here we go, yellow? Right here, right? Yes. So, um, maybe red? Yes, I'm doing good, guys. Maybe yellow again? Okay. Yep. So, press the red button. And this does switch off too when you play different games too. Maybe this time it's yellow? What? Maybe another yellow. Go right. Yes! I did it, Pep! Please We're together again! Now hop in and let's get going! Is it? Mm -hmm. 
hours. Now all I have to do is get my lunchbox and my history report. Well, so I Mr. Firebird can but close I the time to portal. Out how to get your history report? So I don't have to take that thing. Let's go play the game for a little bit. See what this is all about. Oh, I forgot. It's like a. It's like a. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, this gives you like pictures of what's going on. Yeah, I remember doing this. It's actually more fun again, but yeah. Yes. But yeah, it's like playing like tennis with yourself and but you're making a picture. And it's really, really cool. So it's fun. Alright, we're gonna go back. To the beginning, we got the dog, we got the calculator, now I think onward to go get the lunchbox, but I gotta figure out how to get the history report. So... Push the button. Button pushed. So... I know what I need, but I gotta figure out where to get it. Urgh. And that was the reason why the little wheel thing didn't give me the bowl. It usually gives me bowl, but I guess because the since the lunchbox wasn't in the future, so I didn't have to get the bowl to put it in there. That's one another scenario of the game, so. So I was confused on that there for a second. Until I saw the lunchbox with the dragon. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Look what Dragons I have. Here. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Oh my goodness, he was hungry. Aww, poor baby. Now you can take the lunchbox. My lunchbox. He thought that was food for him, but there was no food for him. Now all I have to do is get my history report so Mr. Firebird can close the time all right, for guys, us. we gotta figure out how to get that freaking history report. Is there something? Okay, mm. no. Nothing over here. I'm trying to figure out, guys. Did you remember where to get stuff? I think I need anything over here. Um, I'm gonna go back to the dinosaur age and maybe actually talk to the little dinosaur and ask. I don't think there's anything in here either. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Okay. I double checked to make sure. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's keep going and we'll go back. I'm gonna talk to the little dinosaur because I don't remember where to get the big Terriceratops to move so I can, or move his foot, so hold on. We're gonna go talk to the little dinosaur because I think the little dinosaur does help us on that. We're almost there. Almost there. One more thing. I'm trying to get this done. Here we go, Pep. out of the video, actually, if I can get this to figure out. <sighs> Time-wise. Let me go back over here. Maybe let's go talk and see. Maybe there's something I have to do. How you doing? The name's Compy, short for Compagnatus. That there is my very hungry buddy, Triceratops. Glad to meet you. My name's Pipe <laughs> It's my history report. 
I think I better get that Triceratops to move before I pick it up. Excellent idea, my friend. Nobody but nobody gets in between a Triceratops and his dinner. My buddy here is the original master of fast food. Give him some food, he'll eat it fast. Compagnathus means pretty jaw. Ain't that the sweetest thing you ever heard? Okay, so I have to get some food. Can I get this? Nope, it's just a soup. Okay. Get it while it's hot! I can't get enough of this primordial okay, soup. So was there something maybe up here with her? Maybe I don't know. No, there's nothing there. There has to be something somewhere. I just don't know where. Get along, little dopey. That was weird. I did not. I didn't know that was even possible. Maybe I have to get the hay. Because there's this. Look at that huge pile of hay! Hay is usually for horses, but if it pleases you, help yourself. Help Thanks! Help it might come I in handy, close. You never close know. to go looking it up. But I remembered... That's a... Okay, honey, that's a little too much. Figured it out. <laughs> I was like, ah! It's like, I was so gonna be so lost without finding out what I needed to do. And probably some of you guys were probably yelling at me saying that you probably needed to do that. Maybe, I don't know. Some people don't know about this game. All right, then. Now we're on to getting the history report. Okay, since now I've figured Here out- Here we go, Pat. Ah, uh, so upsetting. All right, go this direction. It's just like, oh my god. All right. Go, go to the Triceratops. She likes it. Okay. Bet your sweet little hubcaps he likes it. I'm telling you, the guy's a total herbivore. Here you go, boy. I need to feed that Triceratops some more hay so he'll get off my okay, history so I report. Okay. Alright, just a little bit more. That's fine. There we go. Great! Now I can get my history report! Yes, now get it. Before he comes steps on it again. <laughs> got it! Hot diggity, this is great! It looks like I got everything I needed to get. Come on, Pep. Let's travel back through time to Car Town and tell Mr. Firebird. What? We did it, guys. Guess what? I did it! I yes. did it! We all did it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I found all my things. And Pep. <laughs> and Pep, too. Congratulations, Pet Pet. I knew you would. Now I can finally show you my new school Yay. supplies. Excellent, Pet Pet. But first, I must close the time portal for good. There you go, on the locked-in key. We don't need any more disasters. Disasters? 
I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun depends ever. On how you looked at it. Well, well I'm glad reason. you had so much fun, Putt Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yipes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history you report. Might have to write that history report. Yeah, something's wrong with you. Now let me tell you what I learned. All right, guys. That was the game. So yes, that was Pup Pup Travels Through Time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of a kid game. I know, I know what it was. But I just remember playing it as a child. It was one of my favorite games. Um. So yeah. Um. I hope you guys learned some stuff or had a little bit of fun of with whatever. I think I kind of did almost a speed run with it, but sorry. But if you want me to do another one, I think it changes this up every time I play something different with this. So if you want to see a second one, maybe hopefully stuff will be switched around. Let me know down in the comments. So I'm going to, I guess, leave it here. <laughs> so please and like and share this video and please subscribe. And just remember, you guys are all a book and it's still being written. So I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.